All right, welcome back to another episode of the Skyrim Special Edition Uchiha Clan playthrough. Uh, last time we left off, we assaulted a fort that we thought held uh, Rigmore's mother. Didn't really go as planned as we ran into a trap basically laid by the person that used to enslave her and her mother. So now we are on the quest. I believe it is the enemy of my enemy still complaining that. We have to go to Cassius Baron's camp. I believe that's the name of the person that um, held her captive. It's been a minute since I've opened up the journal and read through the stuff, but that's what we'll be continuing on today. Uh, before we get started, the mod list should be updated and will be in the description down below as well as a pinned comment. So that way you guys can see my updated mod list uh, throughout the playthrough. Uh, the mod list should be um, up to date for all the previous videos starting from part 17, I want to say. Um, if I do change anything in the mod list, I'll let you guys know, but from here on out, this should be the mod list that I have. Um, I know someone asked about the EMB that I was using. I do not remember offhand. I'll have to check through my download list and see, but as soon as I figure that out, I'll also put that in the pinned comment as well. You may have also noticed that we got back Draglery Lawn, I think is how you say his name. Draglery Lawn. Uh, go ahead and went back and revived him. Wasn't necessarily a process that needed to be shown on camera. Uh, just pretty much used the uh, the Renegon and used the revival spell on him. So that's essentially how we got him back and how he got his equipment and stuff like that. We'll be traveling with him along with Rigmore. These are going to be our two companions for the quest. We're going to leave uh, the other two here for now. We may come back and pick them up later. The reason we are in the Uchiha, and I'm sorry, not the Uchiha clan clave, but the uh, the Naruto Overhaul Cave, is because I wanted to pick up a couple of more fireball uh, spells to use to kind of up my arsenal a little bit. So that's why we're back here next to um, Riverwood. However, I didn't know that everyone that's aligned with the Empire is going to be after us, including guards. So it makes traveling a little bit more difficult uh, simply because all of the guards that are aligned with the um, Imperial Army is essentially trying to kill Rigmore. Okay. Coming into a town uh, already getting attacked by Berserkers. Not exactly what that's all about. One of these is the same assassins. Yep, they are. Okay. So even out here wailing this town. They're just kind of yeah. positioned everywhere. I mean, we got kind of lucky because there was bounty hunters and stuff all the way around. So it didn't really affect us that much. Just a little weird that they're just kind of here out in the open. In like a small little town, but... That's fine, we took care of it. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to Rigmore now. About these disguises. Alright, let's change into these uniforms. Okay. Alright. So now I have to change it to my Imperial uniform. I don't know if I can wear any of this other stuff. Um, probably not. So let's go ahead and take off the cloak. And the boots. I think everything else can stay on. Uh, should be able to leave the mask on, I think. I don't have any, like, boots or anything. Uh, maybe this should be okay. We are wearing Imperial armor still. This might work. But what's so funny? No, it's a it's a battle dress. It's meant for battle and movement. <laughs> dress, you know, it really suits you. Wow, I, I'm I'm glad you're finding this funny. How do I look? That damn necromancer. God, I'm, I'm glad you think this is so funny. <laughs> Dress. How do I look? You look just as ridiculous with your skinny little legs poking out the bottom. I wonder if the Legion wears underwear. <laughs> oh, you're mine. 
Who's, who else is... Wow, they're just really coming after us. I mean, we're good. Is there more people out here? I think this necromancer bugged out. Yeah, right. There we go. What is happening? Okay. Good. All right. Let's let's back up a little bit because we keep getting attacked by random mercenaries and and stuff. So let, let's talk over here. Try and get through this dialogue as quickly as possible. How do I look? I wonder if the legion. Some of those worry about you, Rigmore. Pull yourself together and focus. Okay. <laughs> Okay, focus. Right, focus. All right, gotta locate Cassius Varen. Oh wait, never mind. This is one of the people that um that used to work with her father in the war. Okay. Yeah, this dude was kicking everyone's ass. This is a little adventure. Go ahead and take these potions. All right, he should be around here somewhere. Hopefully, we don't have as many problems um, with this guy as we did with the other guy in terms of like bugs and stuff. And this makes sense. This is a little war zone. Okay. Go ahead and do a quick save here. What is it? Well met, Cassius. Well met. I've been expecting you. Really. I've been sent here to deliver this message. It's very urgent. This changes things. Have you spoken to Ingle? I have, and he says hi and sends his regards and, your well and hope for your well-being. I bet he does, that old fox. And I take it this pretty young thing is Rigmore? Well met. Please, sit and help yourself to refreshments. Hmm. So I do have a, a mod that changes the Imperial arm uh, armors. If you guys haven't noticed, um, I just think it looks a little bit better and suits the overall atmosphere of Skyrim. I didn't like the whole weird looking battle skirts. Who do we got attacking us? They should be able to take care of it, right? I mean. They're strong Imperial soldiers. They should, they should take out one bandit. Right? Okay, about to say. They're, they're pretty strong, right? Like, y y you guys are tough. Y you should be able to take out one bandit. Um, hopefully he comes back to the camp. We'll go ahead and take a seat and we'll wait on him. So let's go ahead and talk. Why is your camp at the hold border? There have been raiders crossing the border here and ransacking the farmsteads. I had the outpost built in an attempt to put a stop to them. Hmm. From the outside looking in, it looks like you're planning some type of offensive attack. <laughs> Does he now? I like to cause him a few sleepless nights from time to time. But these raiders are a more serious cause for concern. My presence has deterred them from this area, but now they are striking other areas and returning to Fort Dunstead. I can't cross over the border into the Pale to deal with them for fear of it being seen as an act of aggression from Dawnstar. Hmm, so you want us to clear out the camp? 
Are you suggesting a special operation? I like the sound of that, Guardian. You would have my gratitude. All right, we can pull it off. Leave no witnesses, and the draw will be none the wiser. Excellent. It's not far from here. Follow me. I wonder how long we have to wear these disguises. Well, uh, do I have something to summon my horse? I don't think I do. That is unfortunate. Um, no, I don't. I thought I did. That's fine. He can't be that far away from here, right? I'd imagine. We can follow him on foot. Hmm. I wonder if this is the camp. This is like a camp if I've ever seen any. I wonder if I'm okay to don my armor. I should be okay, right? This should be fine. Bandits, raiders, and thieves! You have been warned to stay out of Empire territory. All right. You have chosen to ignore the warnings, but I give you one last chance to disband and disperse. Well, if it isn't Captain Voron of the Imperial Guard, aren't you missing something? Uh, like your army? <laughs> Maybe he's drunk on me. Those are the two of his drinking buddies. Hmm. <laughs> An army, huh? We know how to throw a party. <laughs> well, they were warned. My conscience is clear. You ready? You won't leave here alive. All right. Let's slaughter them all. Up a little bit. They got that mage upstairs. I mean, if you're always gonna stand there in one circle or one small space. There's a lot of you guys, huh? Jesus, how many of them are you? Alright, there's an archer up there. Don't say I didn't warn you. in the volcano no. 
Something tells me you're not part of these regular Riff Raff the Bandits. You spat with the tide is unneeded. Your anger has always been a problem, Volcano. This is why we stopped sending you on missions with others. But somehow, this has also made you even more angry, even more resentful. You know your shortcomings, and yet you are angry us for them? How ridiculous. We know what has happened, and we want you to stay where you are. Your hot-headed temper is not needed. I will deal with this. It was my hand that did the deed. It was upon me that he escaped. It will be my hand that sees Kenji's final breath. And power in the shadows, my blinding speed will catch Kenji. He will not be able to escape. Mm. All right. Another one of the seven that's been hunting us so far. Um, nothing really. We'll take the necklace and ring of recharge. We'll deal with the other stuff later. There's a lot of bandits here. Come on. You're so See, there's more people out here. There are. Fireballs aren't really working like I thought they would. Oh, he's bugged out. Okay. Hold on a second, guys. Let me see if I can deal with this. There we go. There's still more people out there. I'm going to go try and clear inside of the camp. This has been a really long fight. Longer than I anticipated. I don't know if people are just spawning inside of the camp or... This has gone on a lot longer than I anticipated. Let's go ahead and heal myself a little bit. They must be above. Uh, here we go. I think that's everyone. Do we need to clear inside of the camp? Bandit archer. Outlaw looter. Oh, okay. Well, that explains why he doesn't want to fight. I'd imagine we got to clear inside of the cave or inside of the, the, um, the fort as well. Let's go ahead and take a look and see. Uh, da, da, da. Is he going anywhere? Okay, cool. Alright, let's do a quick save here. Hey. Yeah, well, looks like we cleared out the camp. Let's check inside this villa. Make sure we got them all. Alright, that's fair. The Stubbling Saber Cat. Whoa. Well, alright then.
Didn't think we was gonna have to fight people inside of here, but okay. Let's see. Anyone downstairs? Hmm. What is it? Oh damn. They slayed a whole family. Rigmore. Was that really necessary? Unfortunately, it's times of war. Yep. Damn. Killed the entire family. Well, I mean, they're dead. I'm not gonna be needing this stuff. Indeed, I learned a lot from him during the Great War. His men were unparalleled on the field. We fought at the Battle of the Red Ring together. Later in Hammerfell, he saved my life. I remember it as clear as if it were yesterday. Would you like to hear about that battle? That sounds great. The end was drawing near. The battle had been raging for two days, and it was the Dominion's final push. They thought they had the victory in their hands, and sent in everything they had. Their elite guards at the front, the rest of their army following behind. Trumpets, conches, shields bashing, horns. The noise was tremendous. The Dominion arrows blocked out the sun and turned the day to night, as they made their way steadily up the hill. The wind blew in dark storm clouds from the east and it began to rain. It poured, rolling thunder above our heads. The roar of 10,000 men as General Jonna rode down from the hill to personally dictate the battle. Jonna gave the order, and the Nords charged the Altmer elite guards head on. There was an almighty crashing of shields on steel armor and the Altmer front line was shunted back 10 yards by the sheer force of the Nord shield wall. They tried desperately to break through it, but the hammers and broadswords behind the wall fell on them time and time again. Still the arrows rained down on us. Still the rain poured down on us, but Janna made us stand. We waited and waited. Finally, he gave the signal. The legion to advance in rank and file on their left flank, our horns and conches sounding, bashing the sides of our shields above the roar of the battle. We inched our way toward until we were ten yards from them. They came charging on us as one, but our line held, and inch by inch we pushed them back. The clash of steel deafening. Words swept through the ranks that Titus's army had entered the Imperial City. Titus! 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 we roared. Then it happened. The Dominion Command left the field. Their army faltered and broke ranks. Fifteen thousand men fling the battlefield. Throwing away their weapons, armor, anything that would slow them down was discarded in the panic. The Altmer elite guards stood to and died to a man, refusing quarter offered. Your father was decorated on the field by Janna himself. Cassius, you mentioned my dad saved your life? Damn. Ah, yes. He was, was pretty much a badass. After the Concordat, I left the army and settled in northern Skyrim. I was thinking of buying a mill with my army pension when I heard of the resistance in Hammerfell. So, I offered my services to the Red Guard High Command. I found myself commanding a battalion, mostly volunteers. We had been attached to the 5th Army, which was making a push deep into enemy-held territory when the treaty was signed. We were cut off and had been ordered out of territory, still controlled by the Dominion. Panic started to set in and it became a full rout. The Elves descended on us and began cutting us to pieces. Men, women, children women and children dark days rigmore dark days indeed the army was scattered and we had taken on thousands upon thousands of refugees all running for their lives 
The baggage train was five miles long. The rivers ran red with blood. It was a massacre. We had to ford the last great river before safety, but we were all stranded on the wrong side of the bank. It seemed there was no hope. The desperation was almost too much to bear. Of course, the soldiers were fighting a desperate rear guard. I myself at the helm of my men. There was at least 50,000 refugees now, only about 2,000 fighting men left. The relief effort arrived and boats were slowly coming across. Women were throwing their babies into the boats. Grown men were sobbing on the bank. Some just gave up. The elves hacked and cleaved their way freely through the mass of bodies. Then, then we heard it. Everything stopped. Everything went quiet. Even the children stopped crying. The elves held their swords and gaped in the direction of the sound. It was like a pulsating, rolling thunder, as if the sky itself was being torn apart. Then we saw it. The banner of Ragnar the Red, coming over the crest of the hill. Two golden, gilded longhorns each side which sounded like the call of the anger of the gods. The thunder was the Nords bashing their swords against their shield wall. Then came the battle cry of 3,000 berserkers as they charged into the mass of Dominion troops. Even though they were outnumbered three to one, the roar and cheer from both sides of the bank as the berserkers slew and slew and slew. The elves routed. Oh, how they ran. They were shown no mercy. No quarter was given. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a life for a life. Ragnar rallied the remaining Red Guard, held a rear guard himself until every single survivor was brought to shore safely. I owe your father a debt of gratitude I could never repay. He was eventually blamed for that massacre. Rigmor, if ever you need me to testify, to clear your family name, I will be there in a heartbeat. You should be very proud of your father. He was greatly feared by his enemies and loved by his friends. I think I now know why he never talked about the war. Thank you, Cassius. I'll remember that offer. That is a lot to process. Now it seems things have come full circle and total war could once again be upon us. It is such a pity that fool Ulfric seems to think it wise to pitch brother against brother. And for what? Freedom from the Empire? Skyrim needs the Empire. All this bickering, so petty. What is it he shouts? Skyrim for the Nords? I wonder what he has in store for those poor souls who are not Nords. The Stormcloaks and the Thalmor deserve each other. Once we all fought the same common enemy, together, side by side. Ah, the enemy of my enemy. Is my friend. You won't have any trouble from me. I can assure you Tullius will honor any forthcoming agreement. Your problem will be convincing Ulfric's Stormcloak. I hope Ingol can knock sense into his thick skull. That's a tall order. We had better be going before any Stormcloaks arrive. Let's head back to camp. Alright, well I'm assuming I don't have to don my armor again, or my Imperial armor. I think the game would have told me if I would have had to do that. Um, we'll save it before we fast travel back to the camp though, just to be sure. Um, yeah, we'll do a quick save and we'll meet him back at the camp or do we have to follow him? The hell is he going? Oh, guess he's looting corpses. Uh, let's see. I believe the camp was here we go. All right, so we're back at camp. See what he has to say. Guess we was waiting on Rigmore. Where's she at? She was behind us. 
Did she get lost or something? I feel like she got lost. There we go. We got more bandits. You're as good as dead. There we go. Alright. Let's talk to Cassius before more people show up. Hopefully that didn't disrupt any of the dialogue. What is it? Until we meet again, Cassius. Farewell. Until next time. Cool. Alright, you good to go? Yeah. I think I'm good. All right, let's get back to Riften. Barindar might have a lead for us for Diamond Ridge. Yeah, let's get out of here. It's safe to dish the uniforms now. People might think the wrong idea. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, pfft. whatever, Dragonborn. Rude? All right. So I think we can actually call it here. And next time you will see us, we'll be back in Riften. We'll talk to Barindar, and then we'll get more information on... uh. On Diamond Ridge, there's a lot of people just coming in here. I, I don't know what his plan was, but that was a terrible, terrible plan. I mean, I get it, but there's so many people in here. I don't know why he thought he was going to be able to do that to us.